Hi everybody, I'm back with some math. We are going to jump into lesson three, session one here in a second, but before we do, I wanted to review number bonds with you. Number bonds, a bond is something that brings you together, like you and your family, you are bonded together. So these number bonds are partners, that's another way of describing it. Um, they are, um, they come together and they make a number. So three and three is a number bond to equal six. But you can also use a different bond to get to six. You could also do four and two equals six. There are a few more ways to get to six. I just showed you two different ways. Same thing for 10. I'm only showing you two different ways. But as you know, there's more than these two ways that make our friends a 10. So one and nine is a number bond for 10. Eight and two also makes 10, but just in a different way. You can also flip this. You could have 10 up at the top and then it splits into two different bonds like this. So five could be broken down into one and four. So it could go both ways. It can five breaks down into these, these add together to make six. So these are called add-ins. Remember when you're adding something together, this is an add-in and this is an add-in to equal a sum or a total of six, okay? So that's a little bit about number bonds and now we can get into our math. Um, but while we're talking about the number bonds, I want you to remember that this is just really breaking down numbers. So what you're doing is you're taking a number and you're saying, how can I break this apart? How can I add it back together? Because addition and subtraction are opposites. So I'm on page um, 53. And if you have a packet that looks like this, it says lesson three, session one, we're going to explore. That means you're going to really try for yourself. So this is where I give you the problem and then you pause and you try it. Here it says try it on your own. A domino has six dots. What are some ways to show six? So you have two different columns. They put a line down the center. These are columns. And I like to talk about columns like this. I put your hands like this and you go up and down and you say columns like the White House. And then you say, say it with me, columns like the White House. Columns like the White House. Good. Columns go up and down like the White House. So in this column, you're going to put um, one add end that would get you two, six. And here you're going to do another add end that would get you two, six. So here they kind of did it with you with dominoes. So this is a column and that's a column. Okay. So here's where I want you to pause the video and write down however many ways you can make six. If you can write the number. Great. If you need to draw dots like this domino, awesome. Whatever works for you. So go ahead and pause and do that now. Great. Good job. Hopefully you came up with some great ways to make six. Um, I'm going to show you a couple more ways. So here in your book, you have a line down and they show you right out of the gate those three dots. So I have one, two, three, which hopefully the more you start doing math, the easier it will be able for you to just look at that and know three, okay? You shouldn't have to count each dot. Three plus three. Now, if I take one of these dots and I bring it over here, I'm gonna draw this so this is now a row, and a row goes like this, row like a row boat. So you can say row like a row boat. All right, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna take one of these dots and I'm gonna bring it over here. So now I have one, two, three, four, four. You don't need to count those, but now I'm going to count on, because I told you it's four, you're not going to count each dot one at a time. Remember, that is too slow, that is so kindergarten. So we're gonna do four, five, six, I counted on. So now I know four plus two will also get me to six. Now I'm gonna draw a line. And now I have another row, row like a row boat. These are columns like the White House. Columns like the White House, row like a row boat. Okay, 
Now I'm going to take one more. I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to say, you know what? You're going to come over here. So now I have one, two, three, four. I add one in the center. I have five. Five. Now I'm going to count on five. One more makes six. But now I can do it the other way too. I can say, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this last dot and I'm going to bring it over here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I know this is six. Now, over here I have zero dots, no dots. So six, there's nothing left to count on. But these are all the ways that you can add together to get six. If I flip them, I could also get two plus four. One plus five, zero plus six. So pretend this is Miss Flam. And we'll say this is Mia. So I have three cookies, she has three cookies. And then I'm like, you know what? You're a baby, you don't really need that many cookies. I'm gonna take one. We still have six cookies. Now I have four and she has two. I take one more of her cookies, I have five and she has one. I take another one, I have six, she has zero. We can also flip it. So Miss Flam has, we have three and three. Then Miss Flam would have two, Mia would have four. Mia has, uh, Miss Flam has one, Mia would have five. Miss Flam has zero, Mia has six. So it goes both ways, but I am really just finding, these are the number bonds. I am, it's called decomposing. I am decomposing six. I'm showing all the ways I can take six dots and break them up and share with your friends and mix them up. So that's what we're doing this week is decomposing numbers. If I wanted to count on and I'm doing one plus five, if the problem gives you one plus five, you can flip it to five plus one because as we learned before, it is much easier to count on if you start with the biggest number. You don't want to start counting on with the smallest number, because watch, one, two, three, four, five, six, it takes too much time. However, if I switch them and I do five plus one, five, six, much faster, much easier. I want you to practice. Do not count those dots one at a time. If you still are, it's okay, but just know a goal for you would be to then switch it to where you are doing the largest number first because it's going to save you time. And that's what we need to do is save time, okay? We need to look at those dots and know exactly what we need to do. All right, now I'm flipping the page and your page looks like this. At the top it says connect it. So this is where we go a little bit deeper. It says a domino has seven dots. What are some of the ways to show seven? So again, you can do your dots, just like me. And then down here, it's gonna say blank and blank, blank and blank. I wonder where there's two columns. Hmm. All right, let's figure it out. If you want, this is where you can pause and um, go do it on your own. All right, I'm now on page. 54. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna erase this. I'm gonna keep my column, columns, and I'm gonna keep my rows because we're gonna do the same kind of thing. I think it gives you a line down. Yeah, it gives you a line down on your page anyway. So we'll just fill this in with all the ways to make seven. So we're just playing with those number bonds. Um, a big, big, big word for this is decomposing numbers. So we're just breaking down those numbers, all right? So we are going to seven. Seven is what we're doing. So I'm gonna start out with seven dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven. Now that means over here, I have zero. Zero plus seven gets me to seven. Now I'm going to take one away and I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six. This person over here gets one. 
and I'm gonna keep going. One, two, three, four, five. I have five dots. This person gets six, seven. You are counting on, so five, six, seven, six, counting on seven. Now I'm gonna take one away and I have one, two, three, four, and now I'm gonna do a better example of modeling it for you, but I have four, five, six, seven, three dots, okay? Now, the same would apply if I flip it. I can't go any more because now this would be three, and then this would be four. This would be two, and that would be five. So I'm gonna stop there. So in here, you see it says, I, I do my dots and my numbers. My dots and my numbers are practicing counting on. Then here it says blank and blank. So here you could write seven and zero, six and one, five and two, four and three. What do you think this is for over here? If you said to flip them, then you are correct. I will show you what that looks like. Pause and write this down if you need to. Otherwise, I'm gonna work on writing this down for you up on my board so you can see. Okay, so you have a line down and then you have and, 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 and. So the first one we had was seven and zero. Then it was six and one. Five and two. Four and three. Now on this side, we're going to flip it. Zero and seven. One and six. Now it would come two and five. Three and Four. Now, I hope you look at this and you see some really cool patterns because guess what? There are some really cool patterns. This number from here to here is growing by one. This number from here to here is shrinking minus one. It's getting smaller each time by one. Okay, same thing here, plus one. Here, it's shrinking. It's getting smaller, minus one every time. Now, we talked about symmetry with our butterflies. So this is completely symmetrical. It is mirrored. It's like it's looking in the mirror at itself. So if I draw a line down, it's the exact same on this side as it is on this side. Zero, one, zero, one, two, three, two, three. And on the outside, we have seven, six, five, four, seven, six, five, four. So you're gonna write down all those numbers in here. Those are all the ways that you can show seven. Okay, I could show seven by two and five. But Mia would say, no, it's five and two. Are both correct? Absolutely. These are both number bonds that make up the number seven. Awesome job, boys and girls. You're now going to turn the page, and you're going to do prepare for adding in any order. So it says, number one, think about what you know about number partners. Fill in each box. Use words, numbers, and pictures. Show as many ideas as you can. So here it says number partners, and then you're gonna give one, two, three examples. So go ahead and get started on that while I erase my board. Okay, so I have number partners. Number partners. That was a fancy way for the bonds. So I'm going to erase seven because that doesn't matter anymore. And one example, this is a shortcut for writing example. Here's another example. There's another example. Okay, so we just did plus seven. So I could do three plus four equals seven. I can flip it around to where somebody else has more. Then the other, four plus three equals seven. I could also do one, two, three, four, count on until I get to seven. 
five, six, seven. This is showing that number bond, it's just showing it with a model. Remember, a model is a fancy word for a drawing. We also did zero plus six, so I could do zero plus six. Um, one plus five, two plus four, and three plus three. Okay, those are all the different ways that I showed. I can keep going here too, but this just shows you that they can be flipped. That's what I was trying to do here. This shows you you can do it with a drawing or a model, and this shows you all the different ways. So pause this video if you need to write this down. Okay, great job, friends. Let's continue learning about number bonds. Remember, another word for number bonds is partners. It's a synonym. A synonym is two words that sound different but mean the same thing. So here, um, let's see, we just did, we're just on page 55, so now I'm on 56. Awesome, we're gonna keep going. It says, Solve the problem, show your work. A domino has eight dots. What are some ways to show eight? Okay, you have a column and a column and an and. So go ahead and start this. Pause it if you need to. I'm gonna go ahead and do mine up here. Okay, good. So I have eight dots. They kind of are super helpful and they give you the first way. So it has, hopefully you don't have to count them all. Four, if you need to, you can count on. You can say, oh, this is four. Five, six, seven, eight. Four plus four equals eight. So I'm gonna draw four dots. One, two, three, four. Four, count on, five, six, seven, eight, I have four dots. So now I know four and four. Okay, all this is, is this first column of ands right here. So that's all I'm doing is writing down those, these, whoop, right here, whoop, are these right here, okay? So I'm just gonna keep doing what I did. I'm gonna take one from here and I'm gonna put it over here. Whoops, I'm gonna put it in my row, one, Two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. I'm counting on. Now I have three dots. So now I know it's five and three. Okay, I have my five. And one more makes six, seven, eight. Boom. Okay, nice. So now I have six and Two. Can we keep going? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Count on, one more makes eight. So now I have seven and one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nothing to count on, zero. So now I know I have eight and zero. That is all the ways that you can break down or decompose eight. So here I am on this page. I just did this right here. Now I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna flip it. If you notice this top one is four and four, I'm not gonna include that because it's the same no matter what way I do it. So I'm gonna start here with two I'm sorry, five and three. So I did five and three. So now I'm gonna do three and five. I'm gonna do two and six. I'm gonna do one and seven, zero and eight. So all I did was flip them. These are all the ways you can make eight. That's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Awesome. There are nine ways to make eight. Good job. Okay, you are done. I hope that makes a little bit of sense. 
we're going to work on this week taking the larger number and counting on from the larger number because it's much faster to do six, seven, eight, instead of two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See the difference there? So hopefully that makes sense. Good luck, everybody. Have fun learning.